Hello. New ink day. And a <laughs> diamond swatch party. So, I have these two new inks, which are Red Dragon and Marine. Sorry about the glare, but I've got a supplemental light on. Faint, but you know, it's on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to swatch those two and they might be their own video. And then I'm going to swatch all my diamonds. <laughs> Look, I've already gone through and done cards and for all of those. And then this... This thing right here, this whole section, is all the dye mine. So this bit's probably going to go into speed. Now I count these kind of as bottles because my friend and I, she like, she'll buy a bottle and we'll split it kind of thing. So that's what these are. Um, yeah, so I think that's the plan. And this might just be its own video and then I'll either have to I'll either do a voiceover or I'll have to figure out how to add music to my videos. <laughs> I actually don't know how to do a voiceover either, but I imagine I just watch the thing and talk into my phone as it happens. How hard can it be? Um, yeah, so that is the plan. I'm going to see whether I can sand off this ink splooge with my sand eraser. doesn't look like it so that's gonna be bilberry because <laughs> that's my darkest one or winter miracle which I think is bilberry with sparkle um okay so let me grab two of these and two of these and then get my teflon thingy bobby brush and let's start with let me actually move some of these things out of the way marine I'm not sure why I got marine I think so basically Colt Pens was having a sale I bought um, Celadon Cat for another reason and because it was really cheap for diamond I'm like oh I should buy more ink because I need that like a hole in my head um, oh my god, this is gonna be, <laughs> and I was thinking maybe this won't be as bright as the Pelican Turquoise, or if the Celadon Cat was too light and refused to write, I could add some of this to it and maybe make it a little bit more, uh, fluid and visible. These were the thoughts that were going through my head. So as it stands right now, the Celadon Cat is too light. I don't know whether I'm just having a feed problem with my pen. So I don't know. Thing was that Sailor was writing just fine when it had the Hara Hara in it. But now that I'm putting these light bluey colors in, I think because they're chroma shading, they're just too dry. So my next course of action is to dip the nib in the ink because I've found that sometimes that helps with capillary action. Helps draw down the ink. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, I'll give you a update mid month on what I end up doing. Do I add some of this, does that? it work who knows I just want a light you know bluey green to go in that pin this pin but right now I am unhappy which is not good and I've been writing all my pins dry so my whole currently ink which I just kind of did is falling apart on me um, I don't like the Pelican Turquoise even after the fine nib in the Bone Crusher. 
it's just, it's not going well, folks. It's kind of too bright. It's better. It's better with the fine nib than it was with the medium. It's kind of not taking over as much, but I'll show you guys all that. Maybe I'll do an update in the middle of the month. Maybe I'll do an update at the end of the month. I am getting a lot done kind of creatively lately because I'm having eye problems. So I can only look at a screen for like 10 minutes. So I can't just lay there and watch YouTube videos, which is kind of what I want to do at the end of a long day at work, but my eyes won't let me. So creating crap it is. Um, yeah, so like I, I die cut all these cards out yesterday, 32 of them, and it is, so there's 32 inks, counting the two new ones right here, and then I think I've got, yeah, I have four die mines that I've already swatched because they were in my currently inked lineup, so I have 36 die mine inks. And I'm not rich. What happens is I, I'll i see a color on buy, sell, trade in kind of a bulk buy situation. And, you know, and I'll get like four inks for five pounds or something. Or they're just two pounds each, you know. So cheaper than a, buying a sample somewhere. You end up with a lot of dye mine inks that way. Um... Yes, okay, so here's Diamond Marine. Where's the pit? There's the glass nib. Come, come. Oh, I forgot to grab some cats out because I haven't swatched these in the cats either. That was horrible to write on top of. <laughs> um, let me get the cats out. They should be right down here. I thought I'd put cats somewhere just for this purpose. I did, I did. Okay. So the cat. So you might be wondering, why does she have so many freaking ways of swatching inks? And the reason for that is that once a month I go to kind of a fountain pen meetup. And for that, I bring the cats. I bring the swatch book that has all my samples and let's see, all my, I bring this because it's really portable, fit it in my backpack and that way I can show people, okay, here's the inks I have. Let me know what sample you want me to bring next time. Glare, glare, glare. Sorry. Um, so yes, I, I swatch everything in these. These are samples, these are bottles. And then I am swatching in this so that at some point this can all be in color order and I could just see them along the top. Got this idea from Simone. And then I swatch in here on the Tomoe River because that's what I journal in and I want to see what it looks like in what I journal in. And I also like to use these inks to kind of paint in numbers or stencils or things like that. So I do like seeing it like that. That's my reasoning behind all this. And so with these ones, I do. Do 
capital letters. So that is Diamine Marine swatched. Let me see if I have anything like it with my ink bottles. Don't think I'm going to. <laughs> I have Aurora Borealis, which is a lot lighter. And actually, I, th I bought this just to use it as a mixing color because I knew it was going to be too bright for me. But why didn't I just use this? Who knows? I think that's the only thing I've got close except for maybe that... Uh, where's that pelican? That is currently inked at the bow. Oh, I can just look in here. Supposedly... Because the currently inks are supposed to be up in the front. Oh no, it was a sample and I'm not doing samples in here. See, I can't even remember my own system. All right, so samples are only in here at the moment because it's a lot of work. So let's see, can I find a pelican? We'll be back from when the last pelican hub was. Okay, yeah, so that's a lot bluer. So this is quite a bit greener. All right, so that's that color. Move that out of the way. And let's do Red Dragon. Now, I got Red Dragon because this is everybody's favorite red, apparently. So I was curious. So we'll do this one first. Yeah, I kind of wanted to see how different is it from my 800 other reds that I've got. Because red is my favorite color. Oh, wow. The little, like, discs on this just kind of split. Hmm. Pretty. Most of my inks are really, really, most of my reds are really, really dark, except for Poppy Red, which I got recently. Don't even remember why I bought Poppy Red. I think I felt that I, I needed to get a red that wasn't exactly the same as all my others. But I've got, I think maybe I'll do a video on all my reds, because I have a lot of reds. So this seems to have a little bit of an orange undertone or is that my light my eyes are very glary so this light is not helping me hopefully it's not annoying you I might have to put my glasses on to do the rest of the diamonds watching So what I'll do, the whole reason why I decided let's swatch all the diamine is because I wanted to kind of make these cards and the Tomoe River Papers for all my other colors, especially my red, so that I can do a comparison at the end of this video with those reds. Does that make any sense? It's a lot of work just to compare, and I could have just done the reds, but then I thought, you know, why don't I just do everything? I got nothing better to do right now. Can't watch videos. So there's that. I hope I pressed record. I don't remember. <laughs> and if I stand up, it's going to make a bunch of racket because of this chair.
So really I only need this weird piece of paper underneath for when I'm doing it on Tomato River. It's not paper, it's like a Teflon-y, it's like a, you know what it is? It's, it's like a piece of toaster paper. So when you're like doing a toasted cheese sandwich in your toaster, you stick them in those envelopes. This is what that kind of material is. So yeah, and that's what they call grilled cheese sandwiches over here. They're toasted cheese sandwiches. Um, but I guess people do them actually in the toaster. And not a toaster oven, but like the one with the slots that you can't control the time on because the time doesn't like setting it to one is not one minute. <laughs> Seems to just be erroneous and doesn't match from toaster to toaster. So yeah, you just have to get to know your own settings. One is how long it requires to toast or two or three or whatever. Why am I talking about toast? I had a very strong cup of coffee today. Maybe that's why I'm so babbly. Wide awake, but able to focus. So, hmm. Okay, so now move this out of the way. Vincy, 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 Vincy. I've got like three cups of water over here. And glass. Diamond Red Dragon. That's going to take a little while to try. It's a pretty color. Off the top of my head, I'm going to say it's reminding me of... Oh... Dominant... In, I've got some... Dominant Industry Romania Red or something like that. We'll look at it. Don't you worry. Knocking everything over. And I don't know why I'm writing the name of the ink in caps on these and doing it the opposite way on everything else, but... That's what I'm doing. Okay. So this one's still mostly wet, but you can kind of see the color. Uh, do I see any sheen? Maybe a little bit of gold sheen, like at the tiniest bit to the point where you guys will not see that on camera. Um, so it looks like on the wearing goal. Here's what it looks like on Daler Rowney Mixed Media Behavior. All right, let's get this stuff out. Romania red. It looks a little, like there's more sheen on Romania red, but the underlying color, this just might be a smidge bluer. Yeah, it's a little bit bluer. So this is more of a kind of orangey, red and yeah I guess I can see little bits of gold sheen. Do I have anything else? I'm not even going to play with those stinky inks. Let's see. I have oxblood, deep dark red, Monaco red, which looks like this looks like that, but just a lot darker, a lot more saturated, but in that kind of same family. Yes, those are all the reds I've got kind of swatched as bottles. Oh, Syrah. We'll take out Syrah. Why don't, why not? Syrah is a lot bluer. 
So raw is closer to uh, deep dark red. It's like the lighter version of this one. Okay. Those are my two new diamine inks. Red Dragon and Marine. Kind of pretty together. So yes, and now I'm going to stop this video, let this dry, put it away, and then just start Swatchapalooza. Okay, bye.